Welcome back. We are here on eToro looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And we'll start out by looking at the US dollar index uh, before we look at the commodities. And as you can see, we are at the moment trading underneath the 50 moving average. We tried to uh, rally the earlier this trading session and we broke down. And now it looks like we're going to break down even further. Uh, from here, we'll find the uh, support at around 92.7. And if we fall further than that, we'll find support at 92.1 and then all the way down to 91.66. If we were to break through the 50 moving average, we'll go to 93.9 and then to 94.775 uh, before going all the way to the 200 moving average. But at this moment, uh, the technical indicators show, show that uh, uh, that the U.S. dollar index is very bearish at this point. We can see the uh, the stochastic is pointing straight down. The RSI is technically flat, and the MACD has crossed the signal line a few trading sessions ago. So at this moment, everything um, uh, is pointing to lower levels for the euro dollar index, and what that means for for uh, commodities most likely is that commodity prices it will increase uh, and pressure metals will also increase and so on because there's a co negative correlation between the US dollar index and the, the commodities and pressure metals so if you look at oil oil has broken down so um, as expected, we we have made a, a double top here, or you can basically say triple top. If you count this candlestick here as well, then we basically have made a triple top, which is a fairly uh, bearish sign. So everything points to lower levels uh, for uh, WTI. Um, the bad news, which was basically the reason for this um, uh, Price increased the last week that we had the oil strike, uh, oil strike in Norway. That is over. We had the hurricane Delta in the Caribbean. That is basically over. And then we also had uh, the news about the U.S. stimulus, which frankly is also over. Um, the spokesman movement from the White House basically said that the the that the Republicans were uh, in part with the president on another stimulus bill. But seriously, she doesn't really have any credibility as whatsoever. So I don't really expect the market to follow what the press uh, uh, secretary of the uh, White House is saying at this point. Uh, we have most likely created a trend line here, which will be fairly difficult to break at this point. Um, we are also trading underneath the 50 moving average so this will be resistant this trend line will also be resistant if we were to break up which we tried to do earlier uh, this session we basically broke down again and now we're trading at 40.23 um, we'll most likely the first resistance we'll find or support we'll find is the 200 moving average at around 39.05 after that we'll go all the way down towards uh, these lows at the 70, uh, 37 and 36 dollars. After that, we go to uh, 35 dollars, 30 dollars, and if uh, the situation with the corona becomes even worse and the economy slows down even further, then we'll probably see even lower levels. If we can just uh, have a look at the Fibonacci retracement levels, you can see that the first Fibonacci retracement is at 30 dollars then $25, and then all the way down to $21. So that is possible. Demand for oil is just not out there at this point. And uh, it doesn't look like the world economy is um, going to recover anytime soon, or not to previous uh, corona, uh, prior, prior coronavirus level, for example, up here. So expect lower prices at this point, rallies are uh, expected to be sold every single time we get close to the 50 moving average or this trend line, it is a selling opportunity. So natural gas, we have rallied significantly in, in, um, 
in natural gas. You can just, just see we just gapped up uh, to the upside. And at this point, this is it was a risky trade to, to buy it here. Extremely risky. And at this point, it is just it is extremely risky to, to, uh, to buy it at this point. You can have a breakdown towards the 50 moving average at any point. Um, but yeah, uh, natural gas, usually when it, when it uh, takes off, it takes off so fast. You can just see what happened here. Within a matter of weeks, we went from, from uh, $2.7 all the way up to uh, nearly $5 for natural gas. And with the same thing here, 1.4 and 1.5 dollars all the way up to 3.1 dollars so this is a market that is extremely volatile it moves really fast and and uh, is a is a is a horrible market to trade if you have a higher leverage you can basically burn through your account within seconds if we look at the technical indicators for 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 uh, natural gas they are all extremely bullish we are on the um we're on the edge of being overbought. So that is an indication that we most likely will have a pullback similar to what we saw here towards the 50 moving average. And then we daily go higher. If we break through the 50 moving average, then of course we have the 200 uh, moving average underneath acting as support. Uh, to the upside, uh, we have broken these highs. At this point moment, we are looking for, you can just draw it up here. We are looking for these highs at 3.36. Uh, I just didn't expect this to, you never know. Uh, it can basically gap up and touch this line and then break down again. But that is the, uh, that is the most likely the uh, price level we'll see in the near future. After that, we can, depending on weather conditions and so on, it can basically jump all the way to these highs. It can come truly parabolical uh, natural gas so if you look at copper copper also rallied today gave away uh, some of its gain and at this moment i think it has reached its top every single time we get to these levels here around the 3.1 uh, then this market tends to break down and it looks like we are about to turn around if you have an additional red candlestick underneath here tomorrow, then we're heading towards the 50 moving average at uh, 2.98. And I would not be surprised if this was the last hurrah for copper. Um, similar to gold, it is not a high demand uh, this commodity when the world economy is slowing down. When production uh, slows down, it hits this market really hard. The technical indicators for copper, RSI is flat. The stochastic is uh, way above the, the signal line. So we may see some bullish, uh, some uh, choppy trading here before we break down. If we were to break off, uh, through that trend line, then we'll go much higher. Then we'll go to 3.17 and even to 3.3. Uh, but I, this was most likely a warning sign where we will go with copper um, any bad news and further bad news about the world economy or the corona will uh, will test this market significantly so first sign of support is the 50 moving average at 2.97 next are these lows of around 2.834 after that we have the 200 moving average and below that we go significantly lower uh, estimation for from the uh, biggest producer of uh, some of the biggest producer of copper expect this market to go to 2.6 so uh, that is within the range of the 200 moving average at this point so if we look at gold Gold rallied significantly on Friday, but we are running into resistance at here at the 50 moving average. Uh, even though that uh, stochastic is looking really bullish, the MACD is looking fairly bullish. The stochastic is running out of the RSI is running out of momentum. So at this moment, if we don't break the 50 moving average, we'll go to these these uh, lows again. We found 
resistant or support, sorry, support within this area here. However, there's just so much support uh, above this area, and you probably could could uh, could uh, make um, argument that these three. This was an overshot of this um, resistant line, and the real resistant line are these three tops, because those coincide also with we're running into resistance here at the 50 moving average and this trend line. So this may be the turning point for gold that we have been waiting for. This was not, uh, but this may be. If we break to the 50 moving average and this trend line, then we only have to uh, get through this area here, which is that area there, which we ran into several times before. I just don't see gold having the momentum to get through this. Uh, it may do, but um, I'm not betting new ranch on we're getting through that at any time soon. I would, I would. I would, my best guess is that we'll turn around here, head towards the 200 moving average, and then go higher from there. Um, that is my, my, my estimate. So I'm not a buyer in this. I'm just going to stay on the, on the sidelines, wait what happens. If we break through this entire resistant area, then we'll go to the all time highs. There's no probably question about that. In the long run as well, we'll also go to the all time highs. Because um, as long as central banks are flooding the markets with cheap liquidity, then that is going to be really bullish for gold. So if we look at silver, so silver was also extremely bullish on Friday session. We are running into resistance similar to gold at the 50 moving average. We haven't even get close to the 50 moving average. Uh, so we need to break the 50 moving average before we can go to these highs. And even these highs have uh, a fair amount of resistance above. We can see that how difficult it was for us to get through this area here. Uh, so if we break the 50 moving average, then we have to test this area. If that breaks, then, then we'll technically go to the all-time highs here. Uh, a breakdown from here will see us retest these lows again. Uh, at around 22.58 and a break of that will go all the way down to the 200 moving average. The technical indicators for uh, for silver are fairly bullish at this point. Both the MACD and the uh, stochastic are, are showing signs of bullishness. However, we're seeing a drop in momentum in the RSI and that is not a good sign. We may as well uh, for silver have a turnaround here towards these um, lower levels and probably also the 200 moving average. So look at Kakoa. So Kakoa is still trading sideways. We rallied earlier, but we we haven't got towards the 200 moving average yet. We have found support at this level at 2.213. And that was also previous support all the way in this area here and this area here and so on. So historical his, uh, support has been within this area. So we may see something similar to this trading sideways. We could break to the downside or we could break to the upside. We are technically trading within uh, the highest of the oh, sorry. Yeah. highs here and these lows. We are technically just in the middle. Probably the worst case scenario to uh, to enter a market right now is basically in this area because it can break to the downside, it can break to the upside. Um, to the upside, we have the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average as, as resistance. So yes, um, if you look at the technical indicators, they are also really negative. So uh, guess would be that we will probably go lower from here or we just stay within this range uh, similar to this, a uh, range between around 2.494 and a range of 2.318. So within this range, we could also see this market fluctuate. 
So if you look at uh, let, uh, Platinum, we can see that the Platinum rallied on Friday session. We broke down today in or today's session. And at this point, we are just trading in between the 200 moving average and the 100 moving average. This is not a good uh, place to enter this market. We have significant resistance or uh, support underneath in this area here. We also have significant uh, support in this area here before we take, we go to these lows. So I'm not a favor of going uh, selling this market. There's just too much support underneath uh, for this market to, to, uh, to basically short this market. Uh, sh um, a lower price towards the 200 moving average most likely will be uh, we'll see a bounce from the 200 moving average and we'll probably see also a drop from the 50 moving average until we break one of these moving averages we technically don't know where this market will go technical ind indicators are mixed macd is flat stochastic is uh, is is bearish and uh, and um, and the rsi is showing signs of of weakness so it's just a matter of market that you have to wait in order to to see where we go a break about the 50 moving average we'll see us go to 2.48 and thereafter to 2.8 and now at 9.898 and then to 1004 yes and last and not least is sugar so sugar again has rallied and at this point, we are significantly overbought in this market. Um, this where it looks similar to natural gas, it just goes parabolic when it 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 uh, it um, takes off, and it can also drop significantly when it drops without any any um, any stop of any sort. But we are over. But at this point, we can see that our stochastic is a, is eighty one, and that is a well above uh, seventy. Uh, the MACD and the stochastic are not showing any signs of weakness. So, but this is an impossible market to enter at this point for a buy or a sell. We need technically a, a pullback towards the fifty moving average, uh, get the RSI lower before we can get into this market. Uh, the next resistance for this market is around here at 0 0.1477 and then all the way up to 0 0.584. Uh, breakdown from here, we'll see the 50 moving average be significant support and we also have the 200 moving average underneath. But I don't expect this market to go lower than these, this top of this level here. So if we have a breakdown, then we'll most likely find major uh, support at 0 uh, 0.1316. So hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing and hit, uh, by hitting the uh, subscriber button here in the corner, the like button and the bell button. And uh, good luck and happy trading.